What up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and we are here today, you guys, with another review for Bold and Bougie um, on WeTV, you guys. Season 1, Episode 2. This episode is titled Clatchet Tea Party, you guys. Now, before we go ahead and jump into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and aren't subscribed yet, then I need you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date. And having me um, pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, and sharing the video. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this episode of Bold and Bougie, you guys. All right, you guys. So we pick back up at Gaucher's party. <laughs> what I will say about this party, you guys, is I'm confused because... I thought this was to plug Gaucher's products. Why didn't Gaucher have a brunch, a brunch like Letitia over on Bell Collective? Why didn't you have a brunch where you are actually having people taste your food, where you're showcasing your food instead of this furs and this pool party with furs? But <laughs> because that's just what my marketing brain goes to. But if she if she feels like it was a success, it was a success, right? Now, Crystal, we still are on the situation of Crystal, and I'm with Crystal. At this point, I'm tired of the rumors. I'm tired of everything at this point. I, even in the first episode, Monty Yetta came out last week and was like, y'all oh, y'all should pay me, you know, tweeted Carlos, like, you should pay me, give me a check because y'all mentioned my name the whole entire first episode. Damn, damn near, girl. Damn near. <laughs> like, okay, girl. But, uh... I'm kind of with Crystal. Like, let's stop talking about it. Let's stop talking about it. She ain't even with the man no more. So I, it would be one thing if she was still with Neo, but she's not with him anymore. So I don't know why we're having this conversation. And I really don't understand why Tamika and him was having a conversation. Why Tamika was having the conversation. It's like, okay, yes, Moniette is your friend. Yes, she's your girl. But what does it have to do with you? Either you want to get to know Crystal or you don't want to get to know Crystal. And it's just as simple as that, right? Now, the next thing we see is Tamika. So Tamika has a private chef and her oldest son came over, to, came into the room and then they were talking to another one of her sons on the phone. And she's talking about she's doing, you know, book signings. I didn't even know Tamika had a book, no shade. I just didn't know she had a book, but congratulations to her writing. And you guys, so they're still working on, you know, she's trying to drain uh, Lake Lanier down there in Atlanta. And I'm right there with her. <clears throat> I am right there with her on draining that damn Lake Lanier. That lake is hot. I mean, I'm not a conspiracy theorist by no means, but you hear so many horror, story, horror stories coming out of Lake Lanier year after year. So I'm 100% with Tamika and drain that motherfucker right i'm here for it please drain that please drain that swampy that swamp right like drain it drain it drain it drain it like so yeah you guys um let's pause here and move forward you guys all right you guys so next up you guys we see malaysia so malaysia went to go see her friend dr princess now, what I will say with Dr. Princess, that woman was a little messy. <laughs> she was a little messy. And I was like, so did, were you vying for a position on the show too? Because that's what it was giving, right? So they talked about the Black Aspen party. And I'm, again, I'm still confused about the Black Aspen party, but that's neither here nor there, right? Because like I said, go shade. You didn't even, like your, your grits and everything, your grits and waffles or whatever, you were, you... I did see it displayed, but <laughs> that's not the same thing. That's not the same thing. This, like, you should have, um, you should have at least had people eating your shit. You know what I'm saying? You should have at least had people eating the stuff. But again, that ain't got nothing to do with me, right? So they so I didn't know that Tamika was singing at this at the thing, but uh, Dr. Princess was like Tamika was singing, and she, she didn't understand why, right? So they also talked about Crystal, and so 
and the fact that, you know, Tamika's friends with Mo, and so is Malaysia. I'm, at this point, Carlos, go get Moneta for season. If y'all get a season two, go get Moneta. Bring her on the show, because they keep talking about it, because at this point, I don't believe Moneta is going back to Real Housewives of Atlanta, because Portia's back. We think Kenya's coming. We know Kenya's back. Marlo's out. Candy is out. Sonya is out, I believe, right? I think. So, yeah. If Candy is out, I don't really see Moneta coming back. Go get Moneta for season two if you get one. And let's have her on here so they can discuss this shit because I'm tired of it. Um, Now, Malaysia believed that Mon I'm not Moneta, but Crystal handled things well. I was like, really? You think she okay. I mean, if you think she took it well, then cool. So Malaysia says that she wants to plan a tea party so that they all can get together and just talk things out, right? And I was like, no, okay. I mean, I guess. What is tripping me up with Malaysia is the fact that Malaysia wants to be above the drama. She doesn't want it. I'm like, but ma'am, you were on Basketball Wives for almost a decade. Well, you were on there for a decade. Longer than a decade longer than a decade because if i'm not mistaken basketball wives the basketball wives la i think they premiered in 20 2010 2000, 2000 it's like 09 or 09 or 2010 one of the two they premiered the same year that bad girls club new orleans premiered and that was 2011 2011 no 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 20 2011 it was either 2010 2011 so you were on basketball wise for over 10 years and that's how young women did was had dramas but i guess she wants to be elevated above the drama i was like okay girlfriend if that's what you want to say then okay cool right so she called crystal up and she wants crystal to go with her to look at the venue and crystal is cool with that right so we didn't see Crystal. So Crystal went to go see Gaucher and they talked about the party as well, right? And Crystal had an issue that Tamika didn't speak to her. And I'm with it. Like, granted, you are friends with uh, Mangetta, but that doesn't mean that we, I've never done anything. I don't know you. I've never done anything to you. So why do you come into a party and just breeze right by me and don't speak to me? Like, that is rude as fuck, right? That's definitely rude. And so Crystal also told um, Gaucher about this tea party with Malaysia. Gaucher is a little... We're going to talk about Gaucher in just a little bit because I, <laughs> I can see where Gaucher is going with this season. But we'll pause here and move forward, you guys. All right, you guys. So speaking of Gaucher, we see Gaucher. So she's... I don't know if that was her business partner or what, right? But she's meeting with someone and they're... You know, guys know Gaucher is... Wanting to now, my TV said topless bar, but I believe she's saying topless bar. She's opening up a topless bar, right? And I'm here for Gaucher. I'm here for entrepreneurism. I'm here for it, especially with her story. I did not. I don't think I ever remember her saying that she. Well, she didn't really have much on. She didn't really have much to say on um, Real Housewives of Atlanta other than she dated Roger Bob, and I I didn't even remember that she had dated Dice. If you guys don't know, Dice is Lala Anthony's cousin, or Lala, Lala's cousin. And because um, she had a show, you know, you guys remember Lala's full court, full court life on We T Was it on? No, it was on VH1. Lala's full court life. And I actually watched that entire, I watched that, that show. Love that show, right? And Dice is Lala's cousin, who's a lesbian. And I didn't even remember to go she was her girlfriend. Mm. But that show, it's been years since that show was on the air, right? But you guys, what was I saying? I went off on a tangent and I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, so she's talking about her daughter. So she, she has a strained relationship with her daughter. And she has one with her son. Now, when she was talking about her son coming into the restaurant and just breezing past, past the hostess stand and sitting himself down to eat. Oh, no, 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 no. We ain't playing that game, sir. You're not going to go above. You're not going to go ahead of my my paying um customers even though you are my son and you you know no 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 we don't play that game so i guess her son got into it with her over that mm, not gonna say anything now we see malaysia so malaysia found a spot for the tea party right and she's meeting crystal there and they talked about the tea party they talked about tamika because malaysia's asking um 
you know, Crystal, how does she feel about, um, what's her name? Tamika. She says she doesn't know, and Malaysia's telling her not to think too deep, think too deep into it. Malaysia, Malaysia, Malaysia. You would have had a whole ass fit, like, if that woman came in there and treated you the same way that um, Tamika treated Crystal. Crystal has not done anything to the woman, so I didn't understand why she came to the party and didn't speak to her. All of this, oh, Mo is my friend, Mo is my friend. I get that. Like I said last week with my best friend, if her husband and her divorce and, you know, he's with another woman and we in, and, and I'm around the woman, I'm not going to be like, oh, bitch, you were my best friend's ex-husband or you was with her ex or you were with him and I don't fuck with you. I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm like, you know, hi, how are you? I'm going to, you know, we're going to introduce each, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm not going to be, especially for in a situation like this, I'm not going to be ugly or anything like that. I'm just going to be like, you know, I, I do know that, you know, we have something, we have something like you were with my best friend's ex-husband and, you know, I would say something to the nature of what Malaysia said. Just as long as you don't say nothing negative about my sister, we're good, right? Don't speak ill of her. Don't speak ill of, you know, her. Don't speak ill of anybody that I know with her. Just say, just keep it on mute, right? Me, you can have our relationship, but that's it. Again, don't talk about her. Don't talk about him. And again, we'll be fine. Like, I don't understand it, but hey, it is what it is. Now, we'll pause here, and we'll go ahead and get to wrapping up the episode, you guys. All right, you guys. So, go Shay. Remember, I told you that she's estranged from her daughter. Baby, when she fell down them stairs, I was like, damn, I know that hurt. Oh, that just made me think about my tailbone. Like, I have I have messed up my tailbone a few years ago, and it was the most pain. I mean, when I tell you guys, that shit was painful. Like, I, what happened is I was at work, and my chair had you know, rolled back and I, boom, went to go sit down and pop, fell right on the ground and it was hard. And it was, it was a while before I felt that pain. It's like a few days, it was like a few days to a week before I actually felt that pain, but neither here nor there, right? So she and her daughter sat down and, you know, I think that I'm glad that they mentioned family counseling because when I listened to it, I was like, there's some family issues that you guys need to work through because um, the daughter talking about how she was depressed after the house burned and all that stuff. And um, she told her that she doesn't hold her not being there against them. And I was thinking to myself, with Gaucher, like, because the daughter was talking about with Gaucher, she didn't come to their games and things of that nature. But Gaucher felt like she was providing for them by always having, you know, having somewhere for them to stay food in there, you know, food to eat and think she, she's one of those parents, right? Who thinks as long as I'm providing, you know, things to my kids, my kids are good. And I think, like I said, she and her kids, they just need to sit down, have some therapy, family therapy, and just get it all out in the open, right? And I think also the fact that you've been in prison, because you said you went to prison and your kids were one and two, I think that's also some things that you have to look at, like, the things that we, it's, it's like we don't realize things that we do, we, we're doing things and we think we're doing, we say we're doing them in the sake of our family and the sake of our kids, right? But at the same time, yes, we are doing these things, but we also have to sit down and you have to ask your kids and your family, like, I am providing, you know, this for you, but what else do you need from me in conjunction with that, right? So I'm glad that they said that they sat down for, they're going to do family counseling. So then we get to this tea party. It's not a tea party because they're drinking alcohol. Because I know Princess was like, where's the tea and crumpets at? Then Tamika was like, why are we in an apartment building? I was like, not an apartment building. Not an apartment building. So they, so Tamika did ask the ladies to sign her petition. And they asked her about the lake. And I'm glad that she's, like I said, I'm really glad that Tamika is speaking about this, right? I might not be the biggest fan of Tamika, but I'm glad that she's speaking about this. And so Malaysia likes it that Tamika apologized at the party to Crystal, right? And Gaucher is in her feelings like, why are we giving her a pass? Honestly, you guys, I'm with Gaucher. 
I'm with Gauthier, but then I do feel like Gauthier was putting 20 on 10 just a little bit, right? I was with Gauthier because why are we giving Tamika a pass? It was rudeness. Yes, you apologize for it, but it was, you came in complete, you came in the wrong way. You're being rude to Crystal, right? And this was, and go, I have, I, I'm okay with Gauthier feeling how she feels because this was her party. This was her event. This could have, if Crystal was a different person, it could have went a different way. If Crystal was, you know, had really gotten pissed off or anything of that nature, this could have went a completely different way, but it didn't. And so I get how Gauthier feels, but I also, like I said, I do feel like Gauthier has been 20 on 10. Then I realized Gauthier is going to be the bone carrier this season, right? Because she, I mean, she coming there to Mika. I'm actually here for it. Wasn't mad at it at all, right? She asked Tamika, so she was like, girl, did she, did she, like, did she date Usher or something? I'm like, damn, what happened? And then she asked her, what happened with you and Usher? I was like, oh, wow. We asked that already. And we're on, on episode two. You know, nobody really knows what, I mean, they were married. And then, I mean, it wasn't long after she had that, it really wasn't long after she had the baby that she went, when she went and got that surgery that almost ended her life that he filed for divorce. Oh, Okay, um, but yeah, Gauthier asked that question, and then Gauthier asked, you know, Crystal, like, no, it was Malaysia who asked Crystal, did you ever slide in Usher's DMs or something? And Crystal felt the way about that, and I'm cool with, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that, too. Um, they played a game of misconceptions about them, like, I'm bougie, I'm a bitch, I'm this, I'm that, right? And they had to guess who the person was who wrote that on their card. But that's the episode, you guys. Um, overall, I will say I am enjoying Bold and Bougie. I do want you guys to tell me what you guys are thinking about this um, season. You know, I, I do want you guys to let me know what you guys think about um, Bold and Bougie. Are you guys enjoying it? Let me know in the comment section. Now, I did see that the ratings, 99,000 people watched last week, you guys. But also, what I will say is that last week's episode, if you guys remember, it was on demand, and I think it had been on demand for at least a week before the premiere actually even happened, you guys. But again, let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, share the video, you guys, and until the next time, please stay safe out there, you guys. Take care of yourselves, wash your hands, and be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next video, you guys. Bye. So um, the next videos will be, so I don't think I got love now to do is The Traders and um, Rated to Love and then Hot Topics. And then I'm going to do a separate video for Porsche, you guys, because, oh, Jesus, Porsche, 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 Porsche. But I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys.